and the markets pop. Des here with Crock Trade. It's Tuesday, June 21st, 2011. Markets moving up big here. We had Dow up 109 points, up 0.91%. S&P up 1.3%, NASDAQ up 2.2%, and the Russell's up 2.3%, not too shabby. However, banks aren't exciting me too much, only up 0.75%. I wish they were up quite a bit more supporting this rally, but I'm not seeing it. VIX drops 5.6%, decisively now down below 20. Gold up, silver up, US dollar down 0.65%. Crude oil up ever so slightly and a nice pop here in transportation. Here we are looking at the S&P. We drop, 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 drop. And now we got a nice little pullback. Pull back to the falling moving day averages. This is a great time to bring in a Fibonacci retracement. You draw that down to that loop. So we're just about to reach the 50, but we hung up here at the falling, declining 20-day moving average, which is now acting as resistance. And we are now heading towards this 300 mark, or 1300, 1300 rather, which should be a pretty good size resistance point. I can see us popping again tomorrow, but a smaller candlestick here. And we would be bullish if we got over 1311. However, in the big scope of things on the weekly chart, also the monthly chart, I seriously doubt that we're going to get higher than this 1311 anytime soon. However, anything can happen, of course. And that would be X percent more bullish if we do get over this 1311 or this 61.8 percent Fibonacci retracement. At this moment, we have a juicy bear pullback taking place. And the question is, is what type of volume was this done on? If I go here to the Dow and take a look at the Dow, the last couple of bull days have been quite small, really. Very small. If we look at the spider, which I don't trust that much, uh, better than yesterday, Monday, but still fairly uh, not so much. I would like to see more. I really like to pay attention to the futures. And the futures that we have here is, ooh, we're declining on the rise here. Gang, what I don't want to see is an incline of volume or interest or worth on the down slope and a decline of volume on the up swing. But that's precisely what we have. So that is a bearish move. So we have a nice bear pullback with declining volume. Coming into some nice resistance areas, such as the 50% or the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement. So anyway, uh, for all those who are taking advantage on the bull side, just be very careful because this could come to an end pretty soon and blow up in your face and things could start heading down. So what I'm saying here is just be careful if you're a bull. If you're a bear, it's not time yet. You're too early. So just be patient. That's it. You get the very best technical analysis here at Grok Trade. And we have some exciting things coming about, but I can't share them with you yet. They're in the works, and I'm all giddy about it. So stay tuned, and the very best to you tomorrow there in the markets. Remember, big rate decision by the Fed knocking at our door tomorrow afternoon.